काशी और वाराणसी सेट टू बी द फर्स्ट प्लेस वॉज बॉर्न इट वॉज द आइडिया ऑफ लाइक वॉट इफ आर स्टोरी एंडेड हियर द स्टोरी इज बेसिकली बिटवीन दिस so kashi or varanasi is said to be the first uh, place where civilization was born in this world like you know by the banks of the river ganga that's written in a lot of our uh, books and uh, scriptures it was the idea of like what if our story ended here like if that was the first city like what if this world now has only one city left and everybody in the world and all the resources and all the major conflict now happens here in kashi so that was the setting for kalki and uh, now we are in a world where the most life giving river the ganga is dry and people in kashi are just living uh, in just like a very brutal survival of the fittest sort of way and above them towers the complex like uh, maybe you guys have seen in the trailer or something like this massive mega city sort of structure like an inverted pyramid that is a kilometer into the sky so that is the complex which has essentially everything it's like paradise it has all the greenery resources water food animals everything that is not there in the world before it's almost like a microcosm of what the world used to be like and now it's the story is mainly set up here it's between these two worlds the people who are in the complex who control those resources and the people who are below in kashi who don't have access and and these people in kashi only just have a dream to enter the complex in a way it becomes a cycle so for you to do the work to earn money to get into the complex is like one trap that you end up working for the complex and you finish your life before you can actually get in so it's like one sort of a cycle which is sort of something that happens today as well apart from these two worlds there's also a third world which we call shambhala Shambhala is something that we hear in many cultures like even in Tibetan culture it's called Shangri-La and every culture has a name which is a mystical land which is hidden from the world and that's where some people say advanced being some people say the avatar some people say many things like how the name Shambhala itself is very connected to the myth of Kalki to the legend of Kalki because it said that this is where the final avatar will come that is the most uh, powerful and that is the most familiar thing about the kalki story so these are our three worlds and each of these worlds have uh, a design or a thought process behind it the complex people and the weapons and their vehicles are designed in a certain way because of what they have people in kashi are designed a certain way because of what they have the world you know there's money which is units and they are bounty hunters who need these units uh to get their job done or to finish their aspiration to want to go into the complex and there's this third world which is shambhala which is essentially the refuge or uh, it's like a massive refugee camp in a way like for all the religions and all the cultures that have been hunted down in this world by the complex so they all needed a place to hide the people in shambhala are are part refugees part rebels part the resistance who are fighting uh, the complex so the story is basically between these three worlds and uh, each of them are very unique in their own way and how their paths cross and how the story goes forward